Lately, the resurgence of patches has become a new must-have. Here's how to create your own using a Brother sewing machine and Adobe Illustrator. Start off by finding a patch or image to replicate and turn it into a vector image. It is important to note that the more detail a design has, the harder it will be to replicate on fabric. The simpler, the better. Also make sure the image is colored the way you want the final product to look. Once this is complete, save your file as an EPS to the desktop. Now open up Sewing Next, a program by Brother. Inside the program, select Image to Stitch and find the EPS file. Hit Next until the color selection window appears. Make sure all of your colors are picked up as white may not be. Now we will change the type and density of the stitch. Begin by selecting an individual piece of the design and change the stitch from a satin stitch to a fill stitch. Apply this to all parts. Once this is done, go to the sewing attributes window and change the density to its max, which is 7. After this is done, you are ready to send to the computer. Going file save and sending by either USB to manually take it to the computer or through a cable. Make sure the machine is on, otherwise this won't work. Now that the design is on the machine, we can start by making the physical patch. Select and size the patch, noting the size of the hoop you will be using. Now moving to the needles, make sure to select a, the appropriate color to the number of needle you will be using. Cut the fabric to fit your desired hoop and be aware of how much material you are using. Always use tearaway to control the stability of the stitches. Place all the materials together on the hoop and make sure it has a taut fit. Place in the machine and do a double check of the entire machine and begin sewing. And watch carefully as it begins sewing to ensure everything runs smoothly. Common problems are related to th threads coming undone and breaking. If this is to happen, stop the machine and assess the upper needles as well as the bobbin to see if there is a problem related there. Once the design is complete sewing, unhoop it and begin cutting excess fabric away. After that, you may want to add an additional backing that is an iron-on, or sew it to the desired clothing, and that finishes how to make a patch.